Good morning, Central Crossing, and welcome to Wednesday. I'm Paul. And I'm Daisha. So, more nippy weather for today. Yuck. I can't wait till spring actually shows up. Me neither. Well, let's head over to the weather room for our weather for today. Okay, what should we be expecting for today's weather, Bailey and Jalen? Well, anchors, you might be in luck. Good morning, Central Crossing. I'm Jalen. I'm Bailey. And we have your weather for today. Today will be a high of 54 with a low of 41. There might be strong winds, but we will still be feeling the sun. That is a big warm-up from yesterday. Yes, it is. Just in time for the first day of spring, which is today. But with spring, there is also rain. Although there is an extremely low chance of rain during the day, we will for sure be seeing some showers during the night. Be prepared for a wet and muddy day tomorrow with a slight drop in temperatures. That's it from us. Back, Back to, to you, anchors. Thanks, weather team. Yeah, so I am very hungry. Me too. Let's head over to the lunch ladies. What should we be anticipating for lunch? Good morning, Central. I'm Jayana. And I'm Allie. And we're here to tell you your lunch news. For lunch, we are given two yummy-tastic choices. First being Big Daddy's Pizza. And lastly being Beef Coney Dogs with Sauce and Cheese. All served with an optional side of baked beans. All of this sounds so awesome. That's all from us. Back to you, Anchors. Sweet. Thanks, guys. So, we have some fantastic news, some great news, and some bad news. Let's start with the fantastic news. Well, a beach party is coming to Center Crossing this Friday. Take a look at one of the games we will be playing. That looks like so much fun. I'm signing up for that. Common Olympics is this Friday, and tickets are on sale in the cafeteria for only $4. This is a class versus class competition with winners competing against the staff. Plus, when you buy your ticket, you can sign up to participate in games such as basketball, volleyball, dodgeball, relay race, and much more. We still need participants for all grades, so buy your tickets today and sign up to have some fun. Take a look at last year. Such a fun event. Remember to colorize yourself this Friday. Freshmen wear gray t-shirts, sophomores are blue, juniors are black, and seniors are white. If you're a sophomore and interested in buying a Comet Olympic shirt, then contact Hannah Miller and Emma Malkowski for a shirt. By the way, this goes out to our lockout students. We will be on a different schedule Friday, so lockout times will be different. You can check the case next to Big Blue for the schedule. Plus, if you do not plan to buy a ticket, you'll need... you'll be in a two-hour study hall while the event takes place. Common Olympics is a highlight of spring here at Central Crossing, so you don't want to miss it. Okay, so that was the fantastic news. Now let's move on to the great news. It's all of our clubs. I cannot believe how many clubs and activities we have here. Check out one of these this week. After school today, we have Comet Bible Study in room 234. We do have some cancellations for today. Literary Magazine will not be meeting. They'll get together after spring break. Also, Photo Club is canceled for today. They will also meet again after spring break. We also have a cancellation for tomorrow morning. There's no mindfulness and yoga tomorrow morning. But SAD will be meeting tomorrow. They meet at 7.30 a.m. in room 149A. Another group getting together in the early hours tomorrow is Renaissance. They meet at 7.30 a.m. in room 209. And then after school on Thursday, we have a couple of things going on. Guitar Club meets at 3.30 in room 180. Also on Thursday, Tabletop Club meets from 3.30 to 5 in room 229. Now let's talk about Friday. You can start your day with Keep Calm and Journal On at 7.30 in the ERC. And later on, after you enjoyed the Comet Olympics, stick around and check out GSA. They meet at 3.30 in room 264. Now let's see what's happening in sports. Good morning, Central. I'm Laimara. And I'm Laura, and we have all your sports. Here's what's happening this week. Today, JB Softball has a game against St. Francis de Sales High School at home.
Freshman and JV baseball play against Grove City at Grove City. Tomorrow, JV and freshman boys baseball will play against Olentangy High School away. Tomorrow, we will also have varsity and JV softball playing against Lancaster High School at home. Good luck to all our athletes competing this week, and good luck to all of our teams getting started in their new seasons. Make sure to keep supporting our teams. They work hard and need fans in the stands. Well, that's it from us. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, Laura and Lamar. We started the show by stating that we had some fantastic news. That was Common Olympics. And some great news. That was all of our clubs. Now, unfortunately, we have some bad news. Too many of us are dueling. Recently, Jack Waxman, a high school student in New York, was so concerned about this that he created Jewelers Against Dueling. Here's a look at what he produced. I started Jewel probably like end of sophomore year, so that'd be about like last year or last summer. And uh, yeah, all of the people in my grade started using it. Sometimes during class, like I'll leave, like if I get really stressed, like it's kind of like my go-to, like I kind of need it. It's just a part of my life now that like I know it's bad, but I can't stop. We got them from an older kid and we, he was teaching me how to use it and stuff. When I'm doing my homework every night, I'll be writing and then all of a sudden I'll want a jewel rip and I'll have my pencil in my right hand and my jewel in my left. Kids are very addicted to these e-cigarettes and need this stuff to be satisfied. People, they'll just be jeweling and, and like all day. Certain people will go through a full pod a day, which is like about the same nicotine content as a pack of cigarettes. Hopefully that pointed out just how addictive jewels are. When you take a hit from a nicotine jewel, you are inhaling almost four times more nicotine than you would from a regular cigarette. Plus, you are inhaling other chemicals that the FDA has not even approved. And so, we have no idea what the results of those chemicals are in your body. Scary stuff, but I have more. We also want you to know that if you're a jeweler, you're being taken advantage of. Totally. You're being played. Jewel pods come in flavors, right? Like tropical fruit or berry punch. Yet, the company states they are, no lo they are not making marketing to teens. Really, what adults want to smoke berry punch? I don't think so. So they are technically marketing to teens, even though they say they are. No, you're right. The Jewel company is specifically targeting you. And me. We bought into it. Listen to this. If you banned... Um, most of the flavors, like fruit flavors or just like food flavors, I think that not as many kids would try it because it's not as like appealing. If there were no flavors, kids would not be as attracted to these jewels. Banning e-liquids would, would force a lot of kids to make the right choice. I, I for sure think that. Okay, so our building is working to cut down on jeweling. If you are found with a, with a jewel that contains nicotine, you'll be legally charged with possessing nicotine on school grounds. That means you and your parent or guardian will be required to appear in court. On the next level, if you're selling hits of THC from a jewel or using THC in a jewel, you'll be charged with drug use and or sale and distribution. Obviously, this is even more serious. Please, if you are addicted, like some of the kids in the early video, Make an appointment with your counselor. I promise they will not judge you, but will simply point you in the right direction to get some help. If you're not a jeweler, but have friends that are, talk to them. If nothing else, they need to stop bringing their jewel to school. But more importantly, they need to stop jeweling altogether. You want to see your friends at your 20th class reunion, right? To make fun of their big bellies and receding hairlines. Well then, let's help each other, and let's rid sensual of jeweling. With that, we are going to clo close. Please help make Central happy, healthy, and long-living. Take care, Central. Look out for each other. See you tomorrow.